wait, see, another nice thing you'll find is, it's like these tests, you know, like the, the there's, there's this test for, for locking your, your, your hands together to see if you're susceptible to hypnosis, okay? Well, one of the things about that is, first of all, let's all do this real quick. Put your hands, okay, first of all, put them like this, okay? Now, push them together and keep your elbows out, okay? And now push so the palms are being pushed and then tighten the fingers as well. Okay, now close your eyes as you do that, and, but first open your eyes for a minute. But imagine that someone has a vice that they're tightening on either side of your hands. They're tightening and tightening. Now close your eyes and imagine this vice is being tightened and tightened and tightened. You can feel it pushing so that pretty soon the pressure in your hands is not your own at all, but it's from the vice. And as it's tighter and tighter and tighter, now in your mind imagine the vice is so tight you cannot get your hands apart. You try, but it doesn't work because the vice is pushing tighter and tighter and tighter. The harder you try, the tighter your hands stick together. Okay, now imagine the vice is released and you can release your hands now whenever you want. Now, for those of you that didn't release your hands, you probably thought to yourself, well, I could if I wanted to. I know there's no real vice there. But it just feels like they should stay locked. It just seems like they should stay together. I mean, it makes sense they're together because if the vice was really there, they'd be together. But I could open them if I wanted to because I know there's no real vice. You get this kind of conversation. Any of you have that kind of conversation going in your head? Okay. Bill, what'd you experience? I mean, uh, Brett, what'd you experience? Just what you're talking about, yeah. Okay. John? Nothing. Th they come apart? No, but oh. I didn't experience any dialogue. That's right, because you're used to doing exactly as I, as I tell you in an altered state, and I, I appreciate it. My unconscious, thanks, you're unconscious. Um, <laughs> or not, is the case to me. Um, what was it like for you, Joe? I didn't, it didn't work by me. Okay, good. I mean, I felt the gripping, but when you said release it, it was pretty easy. Yeah, all right. So. See, it's a trick, sort of, right? It's like you're playing a trick. Of course, you, you know, can I get my hands apart? Of course I can get my hands apart. Do I want my hands apart? Well, no, because you just suggested I don't want to, so I guess I want them together. Mesmerizing or something? Okay, me the true mesmerization, okay, from Franz Anton Mesmer, was about the use of magnetism, is what it really was. And what he believed to be a subtle flow of magnetic fluid around all living things. Um, and what he would do is he'd make passes over a person's body. So he would go, I can't use you. Um, so you can't experience this. Um, so I, he would actually take, take magnets in his hand, and he would make passes over a person's body like this, okay? And one day he went to visit the queen or somebody, or, you know, that had a headache, and, and he, didn't, he didn't have his magnets with him. So he faked it and found out it worked just as well as when he had his magnets. So it was really suggestion in part. But I will tell you, if you'll stand next to someone and go like this with conscious this, you know, as you intend that this lowers your energy and will close your eyes and make the person go out, they will. You really feel it. And vice versa, if you go like this, and you'll raise their energy and you'll bring them back out. Mm -hmm. The very first instruction I ever had in hypnosis was a guy that tried to teach me about that by demonstrating it. And it worked. It blew me away. I had no idea what was happening. And there is something about altering energy by, by doing that. And if you want to really see it done a hog wild, go to one of the whole life expos and watch these crazy people with the wands, you know, swirling the wands all over you, and, you know, they're all like, and they're wearing pyramid hats usually and all this kind of weird stuff. But anyway, uh, but you know, but it does have an impact. It does have an effect. I mean, you'll feel it. You'll actually feel energy moving in your body and around you. You'll feel it. Like, yeah. like. It's been a stick around me. I feel Yeah. <laughs> so. Especially they're called numb drugs. Yeah, <laughs> numb drugs spinning around you. Um, so th the idea is that, 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 that what we're doing isn't exactly mesmerism, it's a suggestion to see if they'll rapidly take the suggestion. Joe, come up here. Since he didn't take that one, we'll see if he's more, <laughs> we'll see if he's more physically suggestible. Okay, so for purposes of the camera, let me just have you turn with your back. Can we see this pretty well? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if, shh, only one of us teaching this class. Um, <laughs> Uh, is, so we'll, we'll, by the way, this is where I, lear I learned this new one, you see? <laughs> okay, um, but what we're going to do is, is we're, we're going to see if he's suggestible based on, on, it's actually a language pattern, but it, it feels physical. So what we're going to do is say, Joe, okay, now look, my hands are magnetic, okay? I need to brace yourself first, right? My hands are magnetic, Joe, and they exert a pull on your, on your back, okay? And if I were to release my hands, you, you would find yourself just leaning back naturally to, to touch them. Now, I'm not going to let you fall, nor will I let you be afraid or anything else, okay? But I want you to just notice how as I start, that's right, very good. Now, as I just start to release my hands, you start to pull right back into them. <laughs> okay, that's very suggestible, like on a kinesthetic level. So, good, excellent. 
All right, now this time you'll note that, uh, that if my hands come very far away at all, it's like you feel just compelled to just fall right back into them and just relax all the way into a trance right now. Close your eyes. As I turn you around and sit you on the table, you'll find that you just go deeper and deeper asleep. Take a step and sit down into a trance comfortably. And as you do that, I'm going to take the hand and I'm going to leave it right there. That's right, excellent. And as the hand begins to move down with true unconscious movement, ever so slowly, even slower, much slower. That's right. You can begin to go so deeply that you begin to dream a dream. A dream in which it becomes so real, it changes your life. A dream startling. A dream that helps you to utilize these patterns of persuasion in your everyday life. To make them fluent and a part of you even more than they ever thought possible in the past. As the arm goes down with each tiny little movement it makes down, each of these suggestions are drilled deeper and deeper into your unconscious, right to the level in which they have the impact that you really want them to have. You find yourself perhaps reviewing rapidly everything you've learned in this class. And as the arm moves on down, you find yourself reviewing it again, all the information. And when the hand comes to rest on the knee, you'll find yourself so much more capable to use these patterns than ever before. So much more able to use them with skill and dexterity. So excited about using them with strength and power that you can't wait to begin writing more sentences that are perfectly oriented and suited to meet your needs and the needs of those around you. That's right, excellent. And you may choose to remember to forget to remember this dream while acting on the power and the strength of what it taught you. Or you may find that your conscious mind simply was startled by something unique and physical while your unconscious mind carried out all the instructions unbeknownst to your conscious mind. That's right. When it comes to rest, it'll relax and you'll come back out of trance, being wide awake, carrying out all that you were suggested. Right. That was an example of using a physical, more or less a physical suggestion for trance. Uh, stay up here for a minute here, Joe. <laughs> um, in which um, literally, that was using a test, a hypnotic test. But most people, they would have stopped then before they got into the real hypnosis. That's the, that's the way that, that, that you're trained to do it. was like, okay, now we see that you're suggestible to this, so why don't you go ahead and sit down here and let's begin the trance. Instead of I just knock him right out while I'm doing it. Why not? Now, he was out on his feet, man. I mean, big time. Was it the presupposition about the... It was everything. Language pattern, it was that I was massaging him, it was I was pulling him backwards as well. Yeah. Hey, I went real, when you said choose to remember to forget, boy, I mean, I was, I went way deep on that sentence. Did I you? just went into this tunnel almost. Yeah. It was really strange. Now, if I wanted to reinduce trance again, watch this. Watch this. Close your eyes for a moment, and I want you to tell me about that tunnel as if you were there again. It was a, a hum and a blur rushing by, and I was falling falling through this blur and I could feel the hum. And how were you sitting right then? Show me. Uh, let's see, I think I had my head. That's right. Here. And it seemed like my knee was very far yeah. away. It seemed like I was dissociated. So be quiet and just listen. Hear the rush. Feel the fall. Very good. Now this time I want you to come back with even more energy and more excitement. I want you to hear a tone in your voice, in your head, like, mmm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> now, see, by, by asking someone to relive or to tell you about a previous trance state, you'll take them right back. I mean, they'll go right into it, like right, I mean, how long did that take? 
<laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds, 20 seconds. It's like, okay, shut up now and just do it. <laughs> and that's about what, what happens. Okay, that was an example, though, of, of using more or less a physical kind of a suggestion with, with, a, with a, um, a test. You know, it's like I just tested physically to see how he would do it. And as he kept falling back, complete trust. By the way, when they break that point where if, if you weren't there, they'd fall down, that's the test is over at that point. In other words, you, you've got them real strongly. Okay, and so then I just said, now, now this time as you come back, you'll find yourself dropping all the way into a trance. Well, they're already following the suggestion of falling back. Why wouldn't they go into a trance next? And what language pattern does that make use of? Cause, cause and effect. Yes, cause and effect. <laughs>